morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Menachem Creditor. It's my honor to serve as scholar in residence and rabbi for UJA Federation of New York. We bring you Torah and music, a blessing and community every weekday. We've been doing so since March 18th, 2020. Today is October 9th, 2023. Over the last three and a half years, we've been through quite a lot together. We created this community during a pandemic. We have come together during terrible moments of American unrest, of global catastrophe. I've never ever had a moment like this. I'm imagining that we as a community include lots and lots of people who have never had moments like these. I don't quite know what to say but we have come together 900 times and with friends from all over the world, friends, you, you, Jewish and not Jewish, we have found each other for three and a half years and I'm telling you, I need you today. Our homeland needs you today. Our sisters and brothers need you today. I'm gonna see who's here because it's important that we maintain who we are and the care that we show each other in the darkest of times. And so I want to make sure to greet you by name as we do every day. And if you are new here, please say hello. Say where you're from. Say how you're feeling. We need each other. This is bigger than any one of us. And I'll do my best to make this a grounded experience, friends, because that's what we need. We need community, we need each other, our sisters and brothers, and parents and grandparents and children, and neighbors and friends in Israel need our hearts. They need our support, they need our strength. We're gonna do some praying today. But first, let me say hi. Good morning, Deborah, and Catherine. Sending love to California and Australia. Arlene, there are no words. Jonathan, sending love to you in Poland. Thank you for being right here right now. I need you. <sighs> Julianne, Judy, Linda and Penny, Mahin, Carl and Michelle, good morning. Jerry and Susan, Janice and Roberta, Sherry, Hannah, Hetty, Debbie, Sharon, Bridge, you're in Montreal, thank you for being here. Mindy and Robin, Natalie, good morning. Your family is fighting in Israel, Natalie. We're praying for them. Andy and Dale, Lisa and Deborah. Is any love in Ohio? Deborah, good to see you too. My screen is jumping a little bit, but don't stop saying hello, friends. You matter so much. Robin, please do reach out to your local Hill directors and directors of Jewish life. The kids on campuses need your extra support. Your clergy needs your support. This is impossible for all of us. Anyone you know, give a call. Give a call. If I miss saying hello to you, friends, please know you matter, and I'm saying hi. Glenda and Linda, Diane, okay. Take a breath. I'm not finding it easy, but let's take a breath. I'm encouraging you. Let's actually, sometimes I say it and grab my guitar, let's take a second and breathe. I'm inviting you, friends, to take a breath. For those who are new, I'm going to sing a blessing for learning. I'm going to try to teach a little bit, but also we're going to make a special moment of prayer for Israel in a moment.
900th broadcast, our 900th time coming together as a community, and I am woefully unprepared. So I'm going to work on breathing, and I'm encouraging you to work on it too. If you're here, you know what's been going on. I don't need to amplify the headlines to you except to tell you that I'm looking right at them on screens behind the camera. My heart is shattered. I'm so glad that you're all here. We are 900 strong. I'm not sure what that means, Amy, but please, God. Maybe there are 900 of us on the broadcast. I can't tell right now. But we're 800 poor. The death toll is up to 800, and we don't anticipate it staying at 800. The wounded are higher than 2,200. Those people stolen from their homes, including babies and grandparents, are over a hundred. I saw a picture of a six-month-old a moment ago, named Ariel, which is my child's name. I, I, I can't add bright spots to erase the darkness, but I will tell you that UJA made a $10 million allocation from our endowment and within 48 hours, in addition to that, donors have brought $14 million to an emergency campaign. And we're, we're not done. Some of our partners in the South who've done major work on trauma, they're not just rattled. Some of them are missing. Some of them are dead. We're not done with our work. We have chartered, or we've helped fund the chartering of a flight from Central America because there are uh, Israeli soldiers in special ops who, um, who are stranded because they were on tours. They were just touring around Central America. We have helped charter a flight to bring them back to Israel because flights from Central America are not possible, except with our help. That would sound joyful if it weren't so bleak. Natalie, I hear you. I hope that, I just want everyone home. In Israel, the language that so many people are using is Ein Milim. There are no words. Last night, I was privileged. It's too nice a word, but I, I, it, was, it was a privilege to be invited by the borough president of Manhattan and a congressman and other elected officials, including Attorney General Letitia James and in northern Manhattan. And we gathered, and I said Kaddish. 400 people said Kaddish, and I explained in that moment that um, there's a Hebrew term, onen. Some of you might know it, unfortunately. Onen is the category that someone is in when they've suffered the loss of a close person, but the funeral hasn't happened yet. It's that in-between, between loss and the ritual that you can do, that we are called to do, to, with honor and dignity, say goodbye to a loved one. And if you are an Onain or Onenet, I hope you're not, but I think we all are, where it's just loss and nothing 
to change the loss, the, the enormity, and the horrific nature of what is now seared into our eyes. If you're an Onain, and there are ten people with which you could say Kaddish, the prayer for the dead, but one of you is an Onain, you don't have ten, you don't have a minion, because if you're an Onain, you're not really there. And I said this last night to the group of people, a few hundred people, who all said Kaddish together in New York City. I wasn't really there. I'm not really here. I'm imagining that I'm not alone, and I'm so grateful that you're all here. This week we're supposed to begin again. This week we, we read the beginning of the Torah, where God saw chaos and didn't like it. So with every measure of light and life, God brought a world that could be ordered into being. And every once in a while it feels like that order isn't holding. And if I'm feeling this here on 59th and Lexington, just imagine what the human beings in Sterot are feeling, in Ashkelon, Tel Aviv, Kfar Aza, which is across the street from the kibbutz that I lived on for six months, my gap year in Israel. The stories that I've heard, and I'm sure the stories you have heard and the stories we will continue hearing. Ad blidai, with no end, bring us back to the worst moments of our history. We dare not forget where we have been. And when hateful people all around the world contextualize anything that a terrorist does. We need to remember that there is no context for evil. There's no gray about, and I won't say it, the horrendous things that Hamas has done to images of God. It is not only because they are my family, it is because they are human beings created in the image of God that should never, never, ever be treated with such terrible cruelty as they have been. Someone offers you context, you stop them. I will say, just trigger warning, because I don't use language like this typically in any of my teaching, ever. Not digitally, not in person. There's no context for rape. There's no context for stealing a baby. There's no context for massacring a family. There's no context for any of this. Even if this weren't my family, and it is, it would be inexcusable, not contextualizable. And the difference between anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism, there's no difference really. So anyone who makes that distinction recognize that when I say Am Yisrael Chai, the people Israel lives, that means my Jewish heart is speaking. And Jewish or not, the citizens of the state of Israel are under attack. So I'm going to do what we do sometimes and pray. I don't know how you believe. We don't have to believe the same way. But this is a prayer that traditionally we recite every day. It's called Shomer Yisrael, Protector of Israel. I don't know that I'm going to get through it, but wherever you are, I'm asking you to sing with me. The words are Shomer Yisrael, Shemor Sherit Yisrael, Val Yovad Yisrael, 
Ha'omrim Shema Yisrael. Translated, though there's no adequate translation for the way it feels to say these words, protector of Israel. Protect the remainder of Israel. Don't let Israel be destroyed or erased. We are the ones who say Shema Yisrael. And when we're done, friends, I'm going to ask you to take action. Hopelessness is not an option. Sadness is not a choice right now, but hopelessness is not an option. You can make a gift to efforts in Israel to distribute food and to save lives. You can support our work to support their work. So far, we've allocated $10 million from our endowment, and donors have already come forward with an additional $14 million. We've chartered a flight to help soldiers, special, special forces soldiers from Central America get back to Israel. You can articulate what's happening. You can share in public not just the horrific stories, which we must share. We must bear testimony. You can go to rallies. There will be an enormous one happening in New York City on Tuesday at 5 o'clock somewhere midtown. And then in Westchester, there will be one Tuesday evening at Temple Israel Center. I think it begins at 7.30. There are rallies happening everywhere in the world. And trust me, there will be counter rallies. We have to show up with stronger and more forceful light. Leket, as Linda just shared, is a beautiful organization. We've actually made grants to them too. Do something, friends. Do something with the sadness. Reach out to your friends and family in Israel. Reach out to everyone you know. Tell them that we are one. Shomer, Shomer, Israel. Shomer, Shomer, Israel. Shemar, Shemit, Israel. Often, when we, uh, when we close our learning for the day, as we've been blessed to do 900 times, we sing our way into a good day. Let's decide we're going to create action to make today a better day for other people. I am so, so grateful for the work that we're doing together. I want to bless you that you should take the strength that we offer each other. This is probably the biggest moment that we've had. I always thank Penny for 
counting how many times we were together, Penny just walked into my office and where she looks like I feel. Or other way around. Friends, bless you. We're going to come together tomorrow. It's going to be a better day. Thank you for being here today. You are a great comfort to the Jewish people just for showing up. Let's keep showing up. Until tomorrow, I'm Yisrael Chai.